that's a great point. Let me uh, Today is Trees Giving. It is the ninth anniversary of when Overcast fell out of his friend's tree. Oh. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, and he actually goes back to the hospital each year. Try and I think so. Could, yeah. be, could be why we're not seeing here in the wreck. Next today. year is going to be the 10th anniversary. Can you believe it? Yeah, Speaking that's... of things I can't believe, uh, oh that was the bike. Oh I was kind God. of hoping he was just going to give me something, and dear God, did he ever. It's like, <laughs> it's hard to dispute that yeah. Rylo's the fifth seed now. I mean, <laughs> after, after a little combo like I that, know, you can he's... see he has the ability to make things happen. Great way to start off a set, that's for sure. I mean, some people call it the Rylo factors. Mm -hmm. And now he went for the Thunder to yeah. take him off the top, but just didn't quite make it. I personally call it the Regina factor. I think just, oh. It gives you like a big advantage, just the fact that you're just the, Regina. Because Regina is better. Yeah, better. And I oh. understand. Oh. <laughs> I, I, sorry. Are you are you an expert on the map? No. Is it? I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe for all the marbles. Maybe for all the marbles. <laughs> Take your W and walk away. You're disrespecting me right now. All right, so <laughs> had a bit of a, an interruption from an yeah. interloper. <laughs> but Back he, is, he is Regina, so you can't fault him now. The stock count has not changed, but the percentage still has. Holy gosh, that nearly took him off the top. Rylo making yeah. the most of this yeah. stock. Up tilt, max rage up tilt is a force to be reckoned with. This is quite the strong start here in game one. Solid Snake just trying to stay as silent for as long as possible, but this is a loud start to game one. No kidding. Does manage to clean it up. Yeah. That dash attack, but awfully late. If he's killing Snake at 160 every stock, I don't know how he hopes to pull this off yeah, without right. some dominating neutral that has not been demonstrated thus far. Yeah, because if he's getting to 160, that means Pikachu has been eating a lot of trades up to that point. Oh, point. yeah. like. And sure enough, if you look at the stock count, he's down a whole one. Maybe even a little more than a whole one. Maybe not after that triple up there. Still missing those thunders. Riley is, or Rilo is wisely going higher than he may need to normally, likely to avoid those thunders. Yeah, I mean, you, you have Snake, who's just so much heavier than Pikachu. You know, on paper, it's like, oh, Pikachu gets a hit, you should be really scared, right? But with all these trades and, and the grenade, I mean, you know. Yeah. And Pikachu's normal killing opportunities often come from, you know, edge guards or, you know, big landing chases, that sort of thing. That one's a big one, but it yeah. doesn't take him out. And he's 138 after the hit, still living. Not even, not happy after that down smash. He's gonna that get up tilt doesn't up take it, but gosh, is he ever close. Oh, you know, honestly, oh. if I'm if I'm Rylo, I'm gonna take that trade. I mean, yeah. you're getting Pikachu so close off, to but an up tilt percent here. Like here, <laughs> Nadia needs to do a lot to pull this game back now. It's oh, a little jump in the key to there, gonna fix him up yeah, and take the shield out. Yeah. Could be an intimidation tactic. I mean, he's, he's got yeah. a little room to yeah, work with. That, that being said, here comes some the big damage here. Here comes the wall of pain. Doesn't quite get the thunder that he was hoping for. Oh, so that's oh, scary. Goes for a big left yeah. uh, left roll read. Doesn't quite get it. No, rolls right, manages to avoid it. But the thing is that at this point, Rilo can afford to just kind of put out the moves that will kill Pikachu. Yeah. And Nadia needs to do everything he can to not just play around this literal minefield, yeah. but like crawl his way towards the damage he needs to finally take a stock. I mean, after this, I would definitely believe that Rylo's in the right mindset. Literally. Oh, the grenade trade there. Yeah, I mean, Rylo, he's happy to just keep doing what he's been doing. That could have been a big opportunity, air dodging the ledge there, but... Ooh, just looking for this kill option here, slowly not even... does get the tech. That would have been a big deal. Yeah, kind of working his way back to where this game... Yeah. Like, even because now it's Rylo that's struggling to get this kill, right? This is definitely winnable at this point. He's done it. Oh, oh, and he rolled the big read, but it doesn't kill! No, not quite. Snake, so enormous heavy. Yeah. I can only assume that up he was a flub. It's so close now. Both yeah. of them want this game one so bad here. Uh, a good, oh. strong hit from either one can do it. I mean, we got some crazy stages oh. on the stage list today. That's going to be, be it. Yeah. 
Oh, he oh. lands it! What? I guess that wasn't high enough. Oh. oh my god! Really? Oh, and I can't it. believe it! Oh, oh my god! Nadia god. crawls back from the jaws of hell. That's gotta hurt. To make that out. comeback. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm so shocked that the down throws weren't enough to take him out there. They're both quite shaky after that They're one. That was shaking, a bit of a nail biter. Yeah. yeah. They know what happened. Incredible start to the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm Rilo here, you know, this little rat's been giving you, you trouble. Like, wasn't really giving him trouble most of the game, but in that last stock, just crawling his way back, couldn't quite find I mean, that. We were saying that he, he needs to do a lot of work and play really, really damn well, and he just did. He just did what he needed to. Benham's here now. Let's go. Pog. Pog. Yeah, hopefully this game, you know, maybe Rilo can find the tools he needs, you know, maybe set up a little mouse trap to deal with this rat, eh? Well, <laughs> Snake is no stranger to setting traps, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, right now, Snake decides to go in. Maybe our Yeah, I mean, technically paid off. He's got damage for it. He got another Pikachu, oh, can just do that. It doesn't really amount to much. It's yeah, the damage and nothing more. Here. I mean, Nadia just desperately wants to try and kill Snake early one time, you know? It's just so hard. Well, I mean, a single stock can make all the difference yeah. in a game like this. But now Nadia's really pushing this advantage, seeing how much she can get out of this yeah. combo. That's quite a lot of damage. Oh, grab. Ooh, that up tilt was scarily close, though. Yeah. I mean, you're, the percent. Like, now, that's not going to be a kill. Does lesser, yeah. get through that shield. And then they're trying to play their sides a little bit more. Maybe just get a little bit more percent to where it's realistic to try and throw out some kill of Pikachu. That dash attack that is going to take it. Yeah. Pikachu dash attack is such an important kill option. Yeah. And getting an early one like that is a very big deal. I think kind of scarily rolling into the corner there at a snake down yeah. throw. Did you know, actually pay off, yeah. What's really unfortunate for Rilo, he has guessed wrong on every single down throw that's, he's done this whole set. That's not really statistically very probable. I know, it, but the mix-ups from Nadia have been excellent. excellent. And just to clean up that stock with an uptilt, but you're gonna need to do some more if he wants to make this set happen. He was trying to get a little bit of a trap set up there while, during the respawn, but it didn't really pan out for him. His roll is starting to get quite stale now. We're getting a little slower, it's going to be much easier for Nadia to punish him. When Nadia punishes, it gets pretty hard. The nade trades out of there, but the damage is in Nadia's favor. Yeah, getting knocked out of Pikachu's reach up high really doesn't uh, affect Snake all that poorly. Because yeah. Snake being up that high... Air Dodge just passed that down here now. It's like Hulk Pretty big opportunity. Look at the neutral air there. I think that's neutral. Taking him right out of Skull Bash. Big damage. Catches him with the last hit of the jab. Oh, that Nikita's out. That's the thing. She's got so yeah. many places to recover. Pressure has come back up on Rallo's part here. Catching Fair. that jump. Wow. Yeah. Very smart, but Nadia. Really good awareness. And now this game isn't really looking nearly as even as this person was. He's going to drop that Nikita knock. Right, going to get a little up smashing. Nadia rolls right past as soon as the dash. Uh, it's visible. Bit of a scrap here, but yeah, oh, nice little Nadia empty winning hop just about there, yeah. every one of those tiny interactions. Oh, that could be a big deal. Managed to make it back yeah. unscathed, despite missing the tech. Didn't quite pick up the punish there. It's Last stock here for Rilo, and he's just fighting. He's got to pick up a kill and then start, you know. <laughs> Point blank Nikita. Yeah. Rilo and these Nikitas, he's not very afraid of right. that. I'm the jump. Don't know how I feel about that jump, really. Back on last stock, but percents are in Nadia's favor big time. And if he was able to come back from such a big deficit in game one, yeah, this is a mountain to climb for Rilo. No doubt about it. Yeah, certainly, it's been the, uh, the momentum since the end of game one has very much been in Nadia's favor. He's been rolling away this game and see if Rilo can step in front of the train and stop it. No kidding. I mean, Nadia, he really turned on the gas in the last stock of game one, and it hasn't really come off since. Rilo has just been desperately trying to hit the brakes. And there we go. Locks Rilo. slightly into that F smash. Slightly, yeah. We're now up 2 0 for Nadia, despite. 
close showings from Rylo. He just needs to maybe pull his game plan momentum back to where it was in game one and pull off that first win, swing things back in his favor. Yeah. And now after game one, it seems like Rylo is going to struggle to get those kills, hey? You know, letting Pikachu live way past when Pikachu should ever be oh, alive. Gosh. He could shoot at 160 during that last game, I think, and that's as high as Snake got in game one. Yeah. Now do you kind of move around the character select screen here? It's one, or it's two, oh. Uh, now do you get up to the big two? Makes sense. As now expected. Just, uh, he's going to be able to small battlefield again. It's a Rilo counter pick that uh, didn't favor him as much as I thought it might. Yeah, no okay. I mean, you got a lot of... Goes for another one of those pairs. Does that air dodge. He's going to be able to make it back. No, Messes up too his low, recovery. Yeah. That's extremely unfortunate now we're you know, not even yeah. post stock. Maybe this is that kick in the pants that Ryland needed to maybe kind of adjust the Well, here's hoping, but yeah. Nadia so might already seem like too taking, late. A, like, being given an inch and taking a mile here. Can Pikachu ever take Goes a mile? Goes for the upbeat, I guess, just for the damage. Uh, doesn't get a ton off of it. But, yeah. I mean, he's not in any position that he really needs to be worrying about it either. Go for a little dash back at Smash, not even not gonna take the bait. Mm -hmm. uh, as experienced as some of our Smashers are at catching a fish, no biters today. Oh, grenade kind of saved him from the jab lock combo there. Could have been bad news for Rilo. Doesn't get a kill from that grenade. These guys just whiffing crabs. Seriously. Looking like all of us trying to inter interact with other people after, after the pandemic just can't quite read the room, unfortunately. However, Rilo gonna take a stock with dropping C4 and just letting it rip right oh, away. Oh, but classic reads the roll. It's the second, that there second with time he's gotten that one already. Yeah. Oh, it's such a such a classic read there, but even at the higher levels of the bracket, it pulls itself off. Thunder doesn't even want to mess with the F smash there. Not going to play with fire. Now they're both playing so tentative, they don't really, like, Rilo doesn't really want to initiate any. And uh, Nadia doesn't really have to. Yeah, he doesn't feel any need to do any more than he ought to. Yeah, it is. This whole get some stray hits here and call it a day is working for him now. Snake already Ooh, did 103 on his last That was a spooky here. spike. Doesn't manage to secure a kill off of it, but. The way this game is going, I don't feel good about Rilo's chances. Yeah, it, does, it seems like that kill might be imminent regardless of whether he got it off the down air or not. Oh, that up going to okay. trade, actually. Cades with Skull Bash, I mean, it's definitely like, a worthwhile trade on Rilo's part. Yeah, he could make some magic happen for sure. Yeah. Down on this last dock, I mean, he's close to full rage. Go for that up again. He's going to yeah. actually get down first. Now, Rilo's... So tell everybody wants to get something started right yeah, away. But God, if he does, who knows what might happen? Rolls away. Rolling anywhere is so scary because you don't want to get dash attacked by Pikachu. He's staying up high. Maybe get a little grenade or C4 here. Yeah, so he dropped the C4 while Nadi was in the thunder there. Uh oh, and that grab. I don't think that's gonna be it. It's gonna be a wild oh, yeah, up throw kill. Throw good, yeah, I guess it's snake, so. Interesting launch angle. Okay, get past the next one. Actually, it gets him with the, with the 184. Cypher. Yeah. Maybe that right, cypher hit was what he needed. Gets in the key to going. He's going to drop it, I'm sure. Doesn't oh, hit the oh, down He's facing smash. behind. That up throw might do it now. And Nadia waves goodbye. That's a 3 0 for wow. Nadia. Excellent work, Nadia. Despite a 